Hello guys. Today we going to see how to set up the Raspberry Pi 0 or 0W without an HDMI display and we going to use our USB cable to connect our Pi 0 to the PC. So, let's do this. <music> For this, obviously, we're gonna need a Raspberry Pi 0 or 0W. I have a 0W here and a 8 or 16 GB SD card. I have a 16 GB here, a USB card reader and a USB cable, of course. That's it. Let's put the card in the USB card reader and plug it in the PC. Then format your SD card. I am using SD card formatter for it. Download the itcher tool and Raspbian. I will post a link in description for that. Then in the itcher tool, select the Raspbian, OS, zip or image file. Then select your SD card and then hit flash. And after a couple of minutes, it will successfully flash your SD card with Raspbian OS. Now to enable SSH over USB, go to SD card, then go to file named config.txt, then open it it with notepad plus plus don't open it it with notepad because it will destroy the file open it only with notepad plus plus then at the bottom of the file add text dt overlay equals to dwc2 and save this file then go to file named cmd line dot txt and open it with note plus plus then find a part root weight in it and after root weight, type the code modules minus load equals to dwc2 comma g underscore e t h e r and save it. Then in the card, create a new file and rename it as ssh and save it without any extensions. Now put the SD card in your Raspberry Pi and connect the cable to its USB port, not power port. USB port as I am doing in video and then connect the cable to the PC and in few seconds your Raspberry Pi will be booted up and it is indicated by this yellow LED. Now download the PuTTY software from description and put the host name as Raspberry Pi dot local and click open and if you get this error like this host does not exist so follow my solution otherwise skip the solution. So, the first part of solution is to download and install Bunjor on your PC. And then, other part of solution is to open your device manager and plug your Pi. And if you see a unknown device, so right click on it and click on the update driver. And navigate to the drivers for it. I will put a link in description to download these drivers. So, after updation of drivers, Go to network adapters and you will see a local USB Ethernet connection. So now we are good to go. Now open the PuTTY again and type the host name as Raspberry Pi dot local and click open. Then a window will pop up. Just enter the username Pi and password is Raspberry. So we are logged into Pi. Now type this command sudo raspi config. And it in, in the configuration, let's go to networks to set up the Wi-Fi. A quick note here, if you have Pi 0 instead of Pi 0 W, then skip all the Wi-Fi stuff since Pi 0 do not have Wi-Fi, but Pi 0 W do have a Wi-Fi. And in Wi-Fi, put your SSID, then hit OK, and then put your password and hit OK again, then click finish. And Pi will connect to your Wi-Fi automatically every time it will boot. To know the SSH IP of the Pi, just type ping raspberry pi dot local. And here is our USB SSH IP of the Pi. So our PC is not connected to Pi via USB. We connected Pi to a power source and Pi is connected to our Wi-Fi. And my PC is also connected to the same Wi-Fi. So we gonna SSH over the Wi-Fi into the Pi. So Open PuTTY again, put the host name as raspberry pi dot local, click open, then put login as pi and password as raspberry. So we are logged into pi using SSH over Wi-Fi. Now 
type the command if config and here you can see the Wi-Fi IP of our Raspberry Pi. So guys, that's all for the today. In the upcoming video of Pi Zero, I will show you how to set up a VNC viewer on PC to get the full desktop of Raspberry Pi on your PC over the Wi-Fi. So, if this video helped you, hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Give me a share and I will be right back with more awesome videos. Till then, like, share and learn. See you in the next video.